Oh, you got big news. A big what? Do you have good news, don't I you? I do. I was, yeah, I was going to, what's your news? I saw the urologist this morning, and there's the, the tumors. There's no sign of the tumor. Here. Hello. There was Hello. 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 There I was call that lead. burying the lead. Goodbye. <laughs> well, Goodbye, you know. tumor. Burying the lead. Lachaim. Lachaim. Here's to life. Lachaim and Lach Medium. Yeah, Lach Ness. The carcinoma in situ is is has, gone. Has, has, this is has so good. This is right out the door. It's really, you guys it's right. you get no, it. We, 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 we beat it. But you so, still so keep far. an eye. Don't you go back though? Once you go back and have a check. I'm, so in, I'm in the middle of treatments right now. I go one more treatment tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so this is a follow up stuff. This is, this is the follow up. This yeah. is the preventive. Yeah, you do three and three. three yeah, groups yeah, of three. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have follow up. I should have follow up. Yeah, you probably, like got, you, you probably got. <laughs> you probably got. You probably got a tumor the size of Rhode Island in there. They're not even of a dog and a cat. The dog has a leash around his neck, and he says to the cat. They don't want you to have a leash because they don't want you to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> apropos. That's, that's, that's good. That no, check with your proctologist. Check with check your, your veterinarian. You know what? I mean, my doctor leveled with me. He says some decisions, like he said, uh, I said, should I get a uh, colonoscopy? Oh, and he says, really at this point in your life, you're going to die of something else. Yeah, but just. The drugs are so good. I like to go once. Oh, yeah. oh that's uh, really? yeah. Once a week, a month. <laughs> yeah. the, the, yeah. That's when I uh, when I had my first uh, what is what is it? Colonoscopy. Uh, the, the endoscopy. And, the uh, yeah, the, that whole process. Up the upper lower GI. Yeah, yeah. Don't can I tell her? And I said, no way. Can I tell my story? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Danny, yes, I got one thing. Please. I thought it was funny. Now I'm out of the mood. Oh, Forget it. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. No. So we're walking back. He says, "You got somebody to drive you home, right?" I said, "Yeah." <laughs> he said, that was a good, I said, can I have a doggy bag? <laughs> well, I, I he got up, such a kick out of that. I woke up to see the nurse and, and, and my wife Morgan, and I, I looked around and I said, did I give away any Homeland Security? <laughs> <laughs> did you really? Yeah. Oh, yes. it's, it's, I wonder if I've never woken up feeling so they, good. They, in they, my I thought you were going to say, I saw my wife and the nurse, and I said, do I have a third choice? <laughs> <laughs> well, but you have a best story about waking up after a surgery. Oh, when I think I'd been maybe told uh, uh, they had given Tell her again, he'll let it. An epidural it. to have my uh, prostate. It's always... Yeah. Uh, uh, but just an epidural, so... Yeah, and then they give you a little sleep, mainly so you don't bother them. Right. Yeah. Uh, and it's done with, uh, what is that? It's a... Roto-Rooter. <laughs> no, it's a Roto-Fryer. Uh, oh, yeah. Laser? Laser. 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 Fryer. And so they bring in a... <laughs> you know, in medicine now, the guy with the laser machine, the, the, you rent a laser machine and it comes with a guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does. It, it used does. to be the other way around, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, very good. So the surgeon is just supervising. Anyhow, he told me afterwards. He said that the uh, the laser operator had to it took a little longer because he had to stop because you woke up just from the soporific, you know, to keep, and you woke up and you said. Looked around and said, still dicking with my dick doc? <laughs> I, I went back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, and he couldn't stop laughing for an hour. Was a, it was a, you know. That's nice that he stopped working. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, just got the right ball. The guy says, you know, I've been having abdominal pain. And he goes to his proctologist. And he goes and he sticks the proctoscope up. And he looks. He says, no wonder you're not feeling so well. He says, you got a dozen roses up there. <laughs> the guy turns around and says, read the note. <laughs> <laughs> but that went again, so this guy comes to a doctor, you know, they like, have, like they stomach have pains, and, they, and the doctor prescribes him suppositories. Take two a day, come to see me next week. The next week the guy comes in, he's even worse shape. He doubles, <laughs> he doubles the prescription, <laughs> goes on. Four weeks, six weeks, keeps coming back. He's feeling terrible. Finally, he said, Dr. Sa, how are you today? He said, 
I'm feeling terrible. Doc, he said, for all the good those suppositories did me, I might as well have shoved them up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of saw that. I, yeah. Yeah. It's good, I good, good punchline, though. Do you know that at Northampton now there are medicinal suppositories? Mm. Medicinal mm. marijuana Yeah, marijuana, really? marijuana suppositories. Do you go there often? Well, usually he chews it. <laughs> Next time he'll go up there, yeah. I finally got my card. I got, I've been there. Yeah. I, like, I have to go I like back. The, There's uh, happy people. They're all smiling. They're I don't know what that happy. means. I like the droplets. Yeah. The what? You, the droplet? Yeah, the uh, tincture. tincture. Oh, I got to try it again. Yeah. yeah, you can titrate it. You know, I don't want to get crazy anymore. I just want to feel better. Jesus, than, Danny, it's a little late. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just want to feel... Better. Than I just wanted to sleep. I want to feel better than before. And, and, and you do. <laughs> well, my and problem. And what a lovely thing it is. What could and be it's, wrong? It's, it's one of the great things about aging in this age is we can do that. Thinking back to my dad uh, at this age, he didn't have much longer to live, but it was remarkable to me that he didn't have a close cadre, of, or even a somewhat close cadre of male friends. Neither did mine. A generation. And I was wondering if that's the same. Is that the same with you guys? Did your Did your dad? Oh yeah, yeah. Have any close friends? No. Well, when my dad was my age, he was already dead ten years. So, <laughs> you know. so he didn't have time for friends. Yeah, well, he didn't have time. He was the oldest of eight kids. So I was going through all these photographs of and papers, and I found a. a, a a box of letters I knew I had that my mom kept and I inherited because I had the house to put them in. And so I went through these letters and there's all these letters from my dad's friends. Oh, how cool. To him. Yeah. So he and did have friends. He did have friends. This was in, he was in his 30s. Mm -hmm. uh, this, so this, this is a group of letters. Uh, he and my mom, uh, mom was in New York and he was taking a job in Boston and would take the night ferry from Manhattan, from South Street, up the East River in the Long Island Sound through the Cape Cod Canal and get to Boston at eight o'clock in the morning. Wow. And he would write letters to, and so on. Mm. And we, I have you know, her reply to each of these letters. And there were all these other letters That's from sweet. some strange guys, guys who I vaguely remember because after he died in 1958, I'm 12, I didn't see him again. Oh. There, was, there was Hi and there was Jaime and there was, I think, a third one just like that. Yeah. And, and, I and Jaime were the two nicknames my father had. His, exactly. His and his name was Izzy. Did they know each other? <laughs> I don't think so. And, my and it's a lovely, sorry. lovely thing to see these letters. My father did not have friends. Mm. And I think my mother would encourage him. She was more social and socially conscious, too. Uh, not in the best way. But he didn't have friends. Living, my brother's 81, I think. And he didn't have any friends. And, st oh. and still doesn't. And he was very much like my father. He was the oldest and the brightest and the best student and, and everything. And, uh, and, um, and he was very much uh, like my father. And, and I think there was a sense in both of them, you can't really trust anybody. And that's why, yeah. you, why you didn't have friends. And I think I ended up just loving having friends. And I think a kind of psych uh, 101 uh, way of uh, seeing it is I wanted to be friends with my brother. Mm, and I sure. never could be friends with my brother. I wanted to be you friends, and he didn't, he didn't uh, respond. He, yeah. uh, he found me a pain in the ass. I was always somewhat fanciful, like with stuffed animals. I still am, Danny. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you should see my pet giraffe. Uh, hey. Go to my safe place. How about the inflatable dolls, Danny? Did you get into that yet? He didn't bring up inflatable dolls. No, well, it just comes yeah. to mind. It you know. just comes right around. They do wonderful things with plastic dolls. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I, I had relationships with uh, my stuffed animals <laughs> beyond, beyond normal. <laughs> yes. I hope you wore protection. That's oh, my God. oh, my God. But anyhow, my brother, oh, they did. my brother, <laughs> you know, who is the rationalist and still is the rationalist, he would say, uh, you know, they're don't, just... Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he says they're just cloth and cotton, yeah. you know? 
Oh, oh you know, I'd, wow. get, I'd get up. Oh, not, no imagination. I had little snookums, and, and you know, he would the have a tear of him, and I'd say, oh, snookums, there's a tear of him. Well, you were 17. <laughs> you, were making, you were creating. And I was a freshman in college. <laughs> I know, I know. At the bed wedding was a problem, too, I know. <laughs> Father, I could do nothing right for, because he mm. was strict. He had an idea. There's a right way to do everything. One way, his way. The right way to do it. I yeah, wonder, are, are, we, are we, do we also, without knowing it, know that our way was the right way? I'm Wait. sorry, I didn't follow that. Our way was the Our way, you know, Dad, if Dad knows how to do it, this, this is the oh, way I to see, do it. Oh, I see, I see. This but this way. is the same Dad who yeah, said. I, I, in the sense that I thought I was. Doing it the right way. I guess in some sense, I, I wasn't being as. Rigid. You were autocratic. And so I thought yes. not being rigid yeah. was better. Right, right. That, but maybe nice. being rigid wasn't so good. But, but maybe it, it, it didn't. doesn't matter if, if, it, if it's rigid or not. It's the, what you do because that becomes the truth for your kids. Sure. That, that's, that's, sure. what he, that's the way he thinks it ought to be done. I think a lot these days about what my father might have thought about this or that. Or you. And, oh, me too. Yeah. Well, uh, or me, you. or that could have been one of the things that I'm, I, I think about. But more like that I, I, I never thought to ask him a million things that if he were alive now, I would no. want to know about no. him. I don't have that. I've Personal, seen that in movies a lot. But, uh, I just would have wanted to know, you know, what uh, was going on in your great. head, Dad? Like, well, who are we? You yeah. know, and part of knowing who we are is where did, where did we come from and, and what were their lives like? And, exactly. and it's turtles all I'm, the way down. I mean, yeah. it just so I'm frustrated back and back with and the, back. Uh, I go back to my great grandfather and it dance, the Lobauer's head. And then there's the family lore about the, or, the orphan, uh, orphan, the uh, illegitimate Jewish child that was given <laughs> to a German family. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that, that could have been. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, I want to go back farther, and I can't go back. I can't find can't nothing. You know, we have a genealogist in Berlin who's looking into <coughs> it somewhat, because we found the old house, we found everything. Oh, you did. And then you found something disturbing in a cousin. Oh, right? that's when I was researching Mem Mengelberg. I made the mistake right. of putting my name in and Nuremberg, <coughs> cousin mm. Hildegard. She was yeah. a Nazi? Capo, Capo. I used to play music with my father. My father oh, that's in, great. in oh. his later years. So he great. was a mandolin player actually oh, all through wow. his life. When we come down with the kids to visit Co-op City, one of the things we always did was we, we played music. In, in the warm months, he would go to Orchard Beach, I always like a casino. group of old yeah. folks, some of whom yeah. had been in mandolin orchestras before, and they would wow. play music all Eastern day. Europeans? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had oh. that, you know, he had So that. you shared that with your we, dad? We did. Oh, that's, that's sweet. Did. That's that nice. Was, that was... I, I, I envy that. a whole lot with my dad. I envy yeah. that. Right after I met Carol, I had a dream of visiting my dad mm. in various rooms in either earthly homes or heavenly homes. And we had just the best time. Mm. And it was, it was, I was getting his blessing. Uh, oh, how, on how, this, how on this oh, sweet. sweet. Yes, sweet. It was, yes. And I woke up realizing that that's what it was. It was a blessing. Yeah. 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 It was.